But not only were people living longer before the flood, animals were too, and they were growing bigger, probably much bigger. Here's a hornless rhinoceros, 18 feet tall. That's a big rhino. People say, that's a prehistoric animal. Now, did you know the word prehistoric was not even in the dictionary until about 100 years ago? We collect old dictionaries in our science center. If you have some old dictionaries from 17 or 1800s, we'd love to get them. I got a dictionary from 1766. The word prehistoric was not there. I got a dictionary from 1860. The word prehistoric is not there. No such thing as prehistoric back in 1860. Here's a dictionary from 1892. The word prehistoric is still not there. See, there are things that are pre-flood, but there's no such thing as prehistoric. We have history from the first day. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. You can't go before that. So there's no such thing as prehistoric. But before the flood came, this canopy of water would increase air pressure, which would make things behave very differently. It makes insects grow much bigger. See, insects are limited on size by based on the amount of oxygen they can get. Insects that live in oxygen-rich waters get a thousand times heavier than those that don't. It has to do with the surface area to volume ratio. Without boring everybody for a half hour, the larger an insect gets, it has more skin, but not compared to its volume. The surface area compared to its volume ratio drops off, as you can see on the chart here. So as an insect gets larger, it can't, doesn't have enough skin because insects breathe through their skin. But giant insect fossils have been found like this dragonfly with a 50-inch wingspan. How'd you like to hit one of those at 70 miles an hour? <laughs> you take the bug deflector and the hood right off and join you in the front seat. Big dragonflies been found fossilized on this planet. Today they get four or five inches long, you know, not very big. Pre-flood they were huge. Cockroaches get pretty good size today. We raise them in our museum in Pensacola, the Madagascar hissing cockroaches. But did you know giant cockroaches have been found? 18 inch long cockroach fossils? <laughs> you didn't call Orkin in those days, you called the National Guard to come exterminate the house, okay? Giant fossil centipede, eight and a half feet long, was found. Grasshoppers, two feet long, have been found fossilized. You can make a meal out of those. Tarantula with a three-foot leg span, fossil. 60-foot cattail fossils have been found. A donkey nine feet high, from Texas, of course. Everything's bigger in Texas, okay? Giant sloths obviously lived on the planet. Now, you're going to be told that was millions of years ago. No, it wasn't. It was just before the flood came. Buffalo were found with horn spans up to 12 feet. Elk with 12-foot antlers. Some of you deer hunters are thinking, wow. That'll look good on the wall. How many of you go out and try to shoot Bambi's daddy? Come on, be honest, okay? There we go, good, good. And eat them too. You know, fossil kangaroos have been found 10 feet tall. And fossil wombat, the size of a mini. Here's a fossil of a guinea pig that was 1,500 pounds. That's a big guinea pig. Birds have been found 13 feet tall. Here's an uh, elephant bird egg. The one behind it's an ostrich egg, which is also huge. <laughs> they find fossils of prehistoric goose that stood as tall as an elephant and weighed half a ton. How'd you like to have that for Thanksgiving dinner? Tell Tiny Tim about that goose. <laughs> yeah. Fossil beavers have been found eight feet long. Here's a guy holding a beaver jaw from about a seven or eight foot beaver. There's a six foot beaver found in Ohio. See, if you have bigger trees before the flood, you would need bigger beavers to chew them down. Mm -hmm. God kept everything balanced in those days. Salamanders today get from five to eight inches long, typically. Did you know fossil salamanders have been found that are six feet long? Increasing air pressure means more gas gets into the water, and fish have to breathe in the water through their gills. So if you had more gas dissolved in the water from greater air pressure, now the fish can get bigger. And you can get a lot more fish per cubic mile. Today, if a shark has a tooth about an inch long, it indicates the shark was probably about 15 feet long. Did you know fossil sharks' teeth are found indicating sharks used to get 80 feet long on this planet? Can you imagine an 80-foot shark? The movie Jaws had a 25-foot shark. You'd have to use Jaws for bait to catch one of these megalodons. Dr. Baugh is raising piranha in an aquarium with a stronger magnetic field around it. 
just increasing the magnetic field is doing something because his piranha are four times larger than normal. When he raised fruit flies in a hyperbaric chamber, they lived 10 times longer than normal just by increasing air pressure. If you combine the air pressure and the filtered sunlight and the stronger magnetic field, you'd probably get Garden of Eden conditions. They probably lost at least those things, maybe, maybe, at least those three things. Maybe more uh, things have been lost since then. Turtles got pretty good size. That's a big turtle uh, on the left. Oysters were found two miles above sea level. 11 foot oysters weighing 600 pounds, two miles above sea level in the Andes Mountain. 